Russia's defense ministry has released footage of its soldiers arriving in Belarus for joint military exercises. It says the drills are aimed at practicing coordinating allied forces. It comes amid heightened tensions over Russia's military buildup near the border with Ukraine. The West has warned about a possible Russian aggression against Ukraine, but Moscow denies any plans for an attack. The U.S. and its allies have warned the Russia with economic sanctions if it invades its neighbor. NATO also says the Western Military Alliance is watching closely as Russia moves troops and arms into Belarus for drills. Our correspondents Natalie Carney and Alyosha Milenkovic have the details. Rather calm and relaxed. We're actually at the uh, main train station here in Kiev. And as you can see, um, there's not much action taking place. That being said, it is relatively early on a Saturday morning. Uh, but this does follow a press conference held by the Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky, um, in which he essentially accused the West of sort of over sensationalizing the potential of war, saying that that could cost Ukrainians dearly. We don't need the panic, uh, which could further cripple the economy here in Ukraine. There are no tanks on the streets, he says, uh, and he doesn't consider the situation any more tense um, than he has over the last eight years. Don't forget, this has been going on for the last eight years. So the Ukrainians are very much used to the sort of ebb and flow of tensions happening in the east of the country. That is to say, though, that Vladimir Zelensky also highlighted that that does not mean there isn't a potential for a possibility of escalation in this circumstance. I'm in the city of Prohorovka, but let's just go a little bit into history to explain why I'm here. This is the place where the largest tank battle in the history of humankind happened back in 1943. Over two million people actually fought right here where I'm standing. Over one million casualties on both sides. So uh, the people here in this area, in this region, are really afraid uh, to see maybe repeat of the similar horrors of the war and that fear is really hovering uh, in, in this area. While coming here from the town of Belgorod, uh, we came across several, I think I counted five or six, huge Kamaz vehicles which were carry what I think I recognize, the Pantsir S1. Uh, this is a very sophisticated state-of-the-art uh, anti-aircraft system which Russia apparently deployed in this area. We also heard the, earlier this morning is that Russia called reservists in the area of Rostov. This is also uh, at the border with Ukraine and it is a little bit south from here. And of course uh, in the announcement of that, uh, to, in the call to that reservist, uh, Russian military stated that they will have to perform live firing military drills. So apparently the tensions around here are still far from over.